guys, it's Selena. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my February favorites. So I am going to talk about all of the items that I have been loving for the month of February. February, February, February is just a month that is really hard for me to pronounce, but today it is my February favorite. <laughs> okay, so I have a lot of products to share with you guys because I have been trying out a lot of new items for the month of February. So if you like favorites videos, definitely don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that I know that I have to continue filming these kinds of videos. And if you want to know what my favorites for the month of February are, then definitely just keep on watching. Okay, so I have a lot of makeup items to share with you guys and I only have one item that is not really makeup related and it is actually a perfume and this is the Pacifica Tahitian Gardenia perfume. So this is what it looks like right here and this is a perfume that my mom brought for me from the States and it smells absolutely heavenly. It has a strong jasmine scent. It is quite a strong scent, but I have been loving this. With this perfume, I only need like one spritz and I'm good to go because otherwise it is way too harsh and intense. But it stays on me throughout the entire day. It smells very summery and fresh. I love that it has a jasmine undertone in it. So I have been loving this perfume for the month of February. And if you can get your hands on this, I would totally suggest these perfumes. Pacifica is also a natural brand, which is great. So yeah, I totally recommend this perfume. You. And then moving on to makeup, I have so many items to share with you guys, but I'm going to start off with a primer. And this is the Catrice Prime and Fine Nude Glow Primer. So this is a liquid skin illuminator that is supposed to be long lasting with pomegranate oil and an instant luminous finish. So the packaging looks like this, very typical Catrice. So I dedicated an entire video to the new Essence and Catrice makeup and this is one of the items that I hauled in that video. And I absolutely love it, I have been wearing it ever since I got it and that's such a beautiful luminous effect to the skin but it also hydrates the skin which is great. So this is definitely the primer that I have been using most throughout this month. Then sticking with bases, my favorite foundation for the month is the LA Go Pro Coverage HD Longwear Illuminating Foundation. I may have featured this in last month's favorites video, but that means that I have been really loving it. So this is what the packaging looks like. So I dedicated an entire video to this foundation, which I will try and link down below if I don't forget it. But this is a beautiful luminous foundation. The lasting power isn't the best ever, which is what I don't like about this foundation. But the finish is absolutely stunning and for me this is totally worth it it was only about 10 euros and I would totally recommend this foundation and then whenever I have a foundation that is a little bit too dark I have been using the Catrice Prime and Fine Makeup Transformer Drops in Lightening so these are just drops that you can add to your foundation to lighten the shade so a lot of brands have come up with this but this is one of the first ones that I have seen at the drugstore um, it does an amazing job at lightening my foundation I do need to use a lot of this so that is something to keep in mind but it doesn't alter the original formula of my foundation at all so if you're like me and you get quite fair in the winter time and you have a lot of foundations that are too dark this is definitely something I would recommend picking up because you won't regret it and you will finally be able to use all of your foundations also for those wondering I am wearing the Kylie liquid lipstick in Malibu on my lips I didn't know what to wear so I just threw this on and I'm really happy with it because it goes great with the eyes and also a little side note I just filmed a tutorial on this look so if you're interested in that it will be up somewhere next week I think okay so then moving on what next I have a bronzer that I have been loving this is the essence luminous matte bronzer again something I hauled in that video of what's new at the drugstore so this is called a luminous matte bronzer because the center powder right here has a luminous finish and then around it is a matte darker bronzer I just mix it together and it adds such a beautiful Beautiful, luminous bronze effect to my skin that I just absolutely adore so this bronzer comes in two shades this is the one for the lighter skin tones and then you also have one that is geared towards people with darker skin tones but yeah this one is actually really light and it works amazing on my pale skin tone right now so if you're fair I would totally recommend picking this up because it's not too orange it's not too warm yet it has a beautiful bronze effect to the skin I also have been loving a blush this month and this is the Natasha Denona blush duo which looks like this and this is any number 16 which comes with two blushes so this is what the inside looks like it comes with a darker blush and then also a lighter one but I just mix them together as I always do and apply it on my cheeks and it is absolutely stunning 
It does have a very strong soapy scent but the formula is super creamy, super smooth and it's not super pigmented because this would look way too dark on me if it was but it is more on the sheer side and it looks absolutely stunning. I can build it up, it looks beautiful and yeah the blushes and the packaging it just all feels super luxurious so luxurious luxurious so yeah I have been loving this blush for the month of February next I have two highlighters from LA girl that I have been loving and these are the LA girl strobe light strobing powders again I don't know if I mentioned them in last month's favorites I don't think so but if I did I'm sorry I'm repeating it but this is what they look like they have a beautiful golden packaging which I adore they're a little bit bulky but I mean they were cheap so I don't really mind that they're actually on sale right now on Beauty Bay normally they retail for about 10 or 11 euros but now they're only six so I would totally recommend picking these up but this is what they look like I have the shades 110 watt and also 100 watt and um, they're very similar but I just had to pick these up so they are a little bit chunky but they are super intense on the cheeks and they look absolutely gorgeous but in my opinion they're totally worth the money they're super intense and yeah, I've just been loving these whenever I want a super intense highlight. Then sticking to the highlight category, I actually have a lot of highlighters to share with you guys this month. So the next one is actually the Essence Eye and Face Palette, which looks like this. And this is in the shade Glow For It. Now the reason I'm featuring this in my favorites video is actually because I adore this highlight. It is the most beautiful highlight I have ever seen from Essence. It has a beautiful glow to the skin without being too much or too chunky or glittery. It is perfect. It has a beautiful soft texture that is not too powdery and that blends beautifully onto the skin. So if you are looking for a great highlighter from the drugstore, I would totally recommend this palette. The eyeshadows are okay, the blush is beautiful, but the highlight is absolutely stunning. So pick this up because you won't regret it. And then the last highlighter I have to mention for today's video is the Jouer Highlighter in Citrine. So the packaging looks super luxurious and chic and then this is what the highlighter looks like on the inside. So this highlighter is super intense and when you swirl your finger in the pan it feels super almost wet but it isn't. So this is what it looks like right here. It is super intense and creamy and buttery and it blends onto the skin beautifully without accentuating any texture that you might have. It does have a lot of powder kick up whenever you use it and I feel like this might break very easily so this is something you definitely have to be careful with because if you ever drop this I'm sure it would be shattered in a million pieces but yeah this is such a beautiful highlight and the texture is Oh, I almost dropped it <laughs> and the texture is out of this world okay so I have two more items to share with you guys the next item is this Weva matte eyeshadow palette which I hold in my online shopping haul if I'm not mistaken so this is what the inside of the palette looks like there are 10 yeah <laughs> There are 10 matte eyeshadows in this palette and I am absolutely obsessed with these. They are all very warm toned and beautiful and considering that these are matte, the quality is absolutely stunning and amazing. They're super soft, they blend easily. I also featured this in a tutorial so if I won't forget it, I will link it down below. But yeah, these colors are right up my alley and the quality is absolutely amazing. So Viva is one of my favorite brands and they are actually quite affordable as well. This palette retails for 22 euros which is super inexpensive considering that this is such a staple and everyday palette. And then my last favorite for the month of February is actually a nail polish. And this is the Catrice Soft Blossom Nail Polish with Floral Scent. And this is in the shade Cherry Blossom Avenue. Again, something I hauled in the What's New at the Drugstore video, which again, I will leave down below if I won't forget it, but I probably will. Don't shoot me. <laughs> but this is what it looks like right here. So this is a beautiful bubblegum pink shade and when you apply it the first day it has a floral scent but it does fade away the next day. But I think it is a super fun and extra touch that I haven't seen at the drugstore. The reason I love this nail polish so much besides the color is that it has the best lasting power ever. I can wear this nail polish for an entire week without having to reapply it which is amazing. And I love the finish it has. Um, according to Catrice it has a semi-matte finish and 
I agree a little bit with that. In my opinion, it has more of a velvety finish. But yeah, this is a beautiful nail polish and I would totally suggest checking out this range because they have beautiful summery shades in it. So yeah, those are all of my beauty favorites for the month of February. I also have been addicted to Suits, which is a series that is now available on Netflix. I know I'm a little bit late on the bandwagon, but I love that show. If you like lawyer series where they get a case and then they have to solve it, then definitely check out that series because it is amazing amazing. So yeah, that wraps up my February favorites. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave your February favorites in the comments down below. That way I can check it out and maybe it will be featured in my next series videos. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Mwah.